how did you and mommy meet? We met at St. Martin's College, which is now St. Martin's University in Lacey, Washington. What made you start liking mommy? We were walking with our friend. She was telling us about a dream that she had and then uh, our friend had to leave and she had never really met me before but she decided to keep telling me this story about her dream and I thought most people wouldn't do that but I thought it was cool that she would just keep telling me about her dream even though we weren't friends. So we dated in college and then she ended up breaking up with me and then we got back together and then I broke up with her and then we got back together. How did you propose to mommy? The proposal began by me taking her back down to San Diego and then we took a train ride back up. Our, our train dropped us off in Tacoma instead of Lacey and so she was kind of freaking out like what how are we going to get back home and I was like don't worry my mom will drive us but what really happened is I had a limo waiting for us at the Tacoma train station and the limo took us back and it took us to St. Martin's and uh, I walked her to a tree that's in the courtyard of the dorms and so I had her walk around the tree and by the time she came back around I was on one knee and I asked her if she would grow old with me and she of course said yes. The funny part is, well it's not funny from her perspective probably, but she was upset during the latter half of our trip because I had not proposed to her. What's also funny about that is I, we, I took her to um, the zoo because she loves animals. She was digging around in my backpack and she opened up a pocket and in that pocket had a little coin purse and in that coin purse is where I was hiding the ring. But I was like getting really nervous at that point because I thought she would open it, of course, and then find the ring. Where did you get married? We got married at the church that we go to in Port Angeles, Washington. We were going to, or we wanted to initially get married at St. Martin's Abbey in Lacey because that's where we met, but they don't do weddings there. Where did you go on your honeymoon? Mommy had never been to Ireland. We had a great time there. I had, never, I had never been to Ireland either, but I love to travel, so I was like, let's go. Anthony, what do you like most about Mommy? That she can love us. Nolly, what do you like most about Mommy? That she makes delicious lunches. We are so different. Besides being funny and eating, we are polar opposites on almost every category you can think about. That's what makes us work so well. What I lack, she has. I'm not a good communicator. She's a great communicator. She is not so much of a risk taker while I am. So we balance each other out. The differences that we do have pale in comparison to the core values that we both share. So we're very big on faith. We're, bi we're very big on being family oriented. I feel if you guys are in sync with the core values, everything else is just pretty much cake. Always step your game up. Just try to be better. Try to be better than who you were yesterday. Try to be better than who you were last year. Your mother and I have talked about I don't communicate very well. So my goal is to work on just communicating with what I'm doing so she's not feeling left in the dark about stuff. And then look out for each other. Let's, let's be honest, nobody wants to do the dishes, nobody wants to do laundry. It doesn't have to be one person's job to do either or. Just help out with something that you know that they have to do later on. When shot hits the fan, we're banging on all cylinders. That's another thing I appreciate about your mother. When we lived in Lacey, the power went out and we were basically fending for ourselves. But like without skipping a beat, got through it, got the resources we needed. Nolly, when you had your seizure, without skipping a beat, we just knew what to do to arrive at the same place. When our backs are up against the wall, we have each other's back. And that's a beautiful thing. One of my favorite times is when you guys go to bed and I'm just hanging out and we're, we don't even have to be talking. We're just doing our own thing, sitting on the couch, chilling together. 
So let's raise a glass. <clears throat> Cheers to another 10 years. <coughs> Have a good day. I love you. Drive safe. Looking at you, kid.